Hare Krishna. Uh, so uh, we welcome Maharaj on the second day of our uh, session. Ah. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Maharaj, your voice is uh, yes, Maharaj, your voice is a uh, little low. Okay. Yeah. You can hear me better now? Like yesterday if you can be yeah, now it's yeah. Now it is better, yes. Yeah. Okay, I was just adjusting things on the desk here. All right, so uh, with second day, uh, uh, Hare Krishna. I have a project, a PPT, PowerPoint protection. Can can we share the screen? Yes, Maharaj, I have made you the co-host. Okay. Please can share the screen. Thank you, Prabhu. Brother, Prabhu, you can introduce the Maharaj and uh, thank, and then Maharaj can continue. Any Mac user can help Maharaj because I think Maharaj is having some uh, issues sharing the screen. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this open a bit here. Yeah. Okay, now this is what I want. Uh, I think. Can you see this? Yes, Maharaj. Okay, good. Okay, this is... Uh, because we're... Okay, let me take it first to uh, where we're going to begin. So I'll begin offering some prayers. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tesmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhaye Vacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Koravani Precharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. 
So yesterday we spoke about mixed devotional service and today we're going to go on and speak about pure devotional service. Yesterday we brought out the different uh, impurities and imperfections which are there in the path of mixed devotion and how they can only result in material benefit. You cannot get pure love of God unless you have pure loving devotion. And to have pure loving devotion, you must have pure faith. So faith is a very important part of loving devotional service. So Rupa Goswami has given us this very perfect definition of pure devotional service. I'm sure you're all familiar with this verse. Uh, anyway, Anya Bilasita Shunyam Gyana Karma Dhyanavritam Anu Koyena Krishna No Shilanam Bhaktir Uttamam. Bhakti Uttamam, Bhaktir Uttamam, the highest devotion. Srila Rupa Goswami uh, coins this uh, phrase, this term. Uh, it was not known before Rupa Goswami. He was the one who actually brought it into people's thoughts that there is such a thing as Bhakti Uttama, the highest devotion. And he's defining it for us very, in a very perfect manner here in this definition. Okay. Mentioned also in Chaitanya Charitamrita as well as in Nectar of Devotion. When first, cl first class devotional service develops, one must be devoid of all material desires, knowledge obtained by monistic philosophy and fruit of action. Devotee must constantly serve Krishna favorably as Krishna desires. So, we see there are different characteristics. We have the essential characteristics and the marginal characteristics or the Swarupa and the Tatasta Lakshanas. The definition is, can be analyzed in this way, appreciating the different characteristics which are essential and which are also helpful or supportive to the essential characteristics. The principal statement, and then we'll see the further qualities which help to support these principal statements. Swarupa Lakshana, Anu Kuyena, Krishna Anu Shilanam, and then Tatasta Anya Bilasita Sunyam and Jnana Karma Janavritam. We should mention this uh, particular sloka from Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. This is the Paribhashya Sutra of the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. It is the sloka or the statement on which all the teachings of the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu are based. All the writings of Rupa Goswami are actually based around this one sloka, the Paribhashya Sutra. So the, the primary foundation and the com complete teaching of the, the philosophy is there within that one sloka. We're going to examine these different qualities. Anuku yena. What is actually favorable to pure devotion? Ah. We said. Anukuyena, 
Krishna nu Shila Rama, Anya Bilasi Tsunyam Gyana Karma Janavritam. So the first line is describing the secondary characteristics. Anukoyina Krishna no Shilanam Bhaktir Uttamam. The second two line describing the Swarupa Lakshana, the principal characteristics. So first of all, the activities of devotional service should be pleasing to Krishna, must be pleasing to Krishna. And then performed with the intention to please Krishna. Not only must it, must it be pleasing to Krishna, but the intention must also be there to please Krishna. The example is given sometimes uh, when Krishna was in the arena at Mathura fighting the wrestlers. Chanura was pounding on the chest of Krishna. And Chanura with his rock-like body, mountain-like form appearing in front of Lord Krishna and he's pounding on the chest of Krishna and Krishna is Please, Krishna is appreciating that this, oh, this man is such a hero, he's so, he's so brave, he's so bold. So, is it Chanura is also doing devotional service? Of course not. Chanura's mood was to kill Krishna. Although Krishna took pleasure in it, it was not Chanura's intention to be pleasing to Krishna. So it's important that we qualify the uh, service. The intention must be there to actually please Krishna. And at the other extreme, you have the example of Mother Yashoda and how uh, Lord Krishna had stolen the butter and he'd broken the butter pot, he picked up a stone and broken the pot of butter and he'd gone off and left butter around the place and was feeding it to monkeys. Lord Krishna was angry at his mother because his mother wouldn't, wasn't feeding him her breast milk and she went off to take care of the milk on the stove. So Lord Krishna in his anger had done all this. So Mother Yashoda comes to get Krishna and of course Mother Yashoda, she's still, although Krishna's angry, Mother Yashoda, she, she just wants to love Krishna. Her intention is only to please Krishna. She didn't mean to make Krishna angry, it was just a spontaneous reaction which got her to put Krishna down and go and take care of the milk. But her intention is always there to please Krishna. So we have to be very careful about understanding what is actually favorable to Krishna and what, what is not. Another point that when we speak about Krishna, Anukoyena Krishna no Shilano. Krishna means not only Krishna. You to unmute, Sorry? What? I think you have to unmute yourself, Maharaj. Really? I haven't got any sign there. Where is it? Oh, no. 
hosts can unmute other participants remotely. What is going on here? Jagannath Prabhu, can you unmute, unmute Maharaj? Is it possible for you? Hare Krishna. Maharaj can unmute himself. Maharaj, you go to the back of the screen. The mute, unmute, just click on the mute, unmute. Button is in the mute, unmute. to change this, maybe move to another computer. Oh. 